It is no secret that bankers earn a lot of money, don't they? I mean, I wonder how much. You're here because you're interested in how much people earn in finance, and you're probably interested to know how much I made in finance over the last four years. I can't believe I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna reveal every single salary that I've had. And if this video does not deserve a like, then I just don't know what does. Zoo. So a bank or financial institution will normally have many different departments like investment banking, private banking, retail banking, corporate banking, payments, and just loads more. But the best paid entry level job in a bank is typically the investment banking side, and that is normally known as the front office, and that is what I'm gonna cover today. The basic salary, so not including a bonus, for uh, an analyst in an investment bank is 50,000 pounds, so someone straight out of uni will go in on 50K. At associate level, so the grade above an analyst, so usually after you've done a master's degree, you'll go in in your first year at 90,000 pounds on average. In years two and three, your basic salary will probably jump about 10%, so after three years as an analyst you'll end up on like 60k basic and then after three years as an associate you'll end up on like 120k basic and this basic salary is pretty consistent across all of the banks however what is not consistent across the banks is the bonus payment bonuses vary so much from bank to bank here are some examples in your first year as an analyst at Barclays you'll get a bonus of around 10k but at Goldman Sachs it will be about 40k as an associate in your first year at Deutsche Bank you'll get around 50k but at Bank of America you get over 100k before I tell you how much I earned at the two banks that I worked for, I want to quickly talk about other roles, some more senior roles, and how much these people are getting paid in banks. So after being an analyst and then an associate, you'll then go to VP level. And as a VP, you'll earn about 150K as a basic salary. And then another jump, so as a senior VP or a director, depending on the bank you work for, you'll probably get paid around 150K to 300K. And then after that, which very few people achieve, so a managing director, you'll probably Probably going to earn 300 to 500k per year as a basic salary. If you think that's a lot, well, you're right, but for these kind of roles and these grades in banks, the basic salary is the smallest portion of their gross salary. So the bonus payment in these roles from VP upwards is a lot more than what their basic salary is. So their bonuses will basically be above 100% of what their basic salary is, which is just mind blowing. And just to be clear though, uh, a lot of banks will defer this payment over three to five years so you may get you may get 50% of it now for example but then you get the rest of the 50% after three years or they will invest that stock into the company that you work for and you you can only pull that stock out after three five years whatever it may be so it's not technically yours it's your money on paper and this is where a lot of people got screwed in the 08 crash because a lot of people on paper were very rich but actually they they just weren't and let's say for whatever miracle you become a group ceo at one of these global banks well you could be earning this 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 or this so now it's time to tell you how much I earned in my four years working in finance. The thing is though, after saying all those ridiculously high salaries, what I say now is gonna seem so insignificant, but I'll say it anyway. Also, I did not work in investment banking, which is like the highest paid section of a bank. I worked in uh, payments, which is like middle to front office, depending on the role. So yeah, it's not gonna be as much. And also for a little more context, I graduated in 2016 and my first job was not in a bank. It was for an IT company called RM. Uh, and my first salary was 27,000 pounds. After the first year, I got bumped up to 29,000 pounds. And just after a year, I got my job at Barclays Bank. And I'm pretty sure I went in at the minimum salary for an AVP and an AVP is an assistant vice president which sounds fancy but let me tell you it isn't. As an AVP at Barclays Bank at 23 years old I earned £38,500 and I joined towards the end of the year so I had a few months of working and then my salary got bumped up again so I literally did like three months of work and I got bumped up to £41,000. That was my salary for the whole of 2018, but I did also get a bonus that year in, in my first year in role. Um, and my performance grade was outstanding, outstanding, which is the highest you can get. Um, and for that, I was rewarded with 10,000 pounds, meaning my gross salary for 2018 was 51,000 pounds. So for people wondering how I bought my watches, I mean, that that's 
kind of how. A year later, so in 2019, I actually changed roles. So I went from product into sales and I also did have a salary bump. So my new salary in 2019 was 45,000 pounds. And now that I was in sales, I also had the ability to get a bonus so I could earn up to 60,000 pounds. But I didn't because I decided to quit Barclays and join another bank. And at that bank, which was called Trust Payments or Acquiring.com, um, they paid me as a basic salary, 55,000 pounds. And while there in 2020, I could also earn up to 20,000 pounds in bonus payment. But I didn't because I quit again. Hey, nighttime Phil here. I was just editing the video and noticed that I probably come across uh, as a little quitter um, and somebody who is ungrateful for amazing opportunities and also for someone who uh, takes a well-paid job for granted. And to be honest with you, that's true. But seriously though, at the time, yeah, I was buzzing about the pay that I got for my age. And yes, I was buzzing about the title that I had. Um, but like I always say, I chose happiness over money. Anyway, back to you, daytime Phil. Now then, why am I telling you this? Is it to brag? Uh, no. Is it to educate you and help you? Yeah, kind of, a little bit. Mainly, it's because I know that this topic of video will get a lot of views. There, I said it, okay? And you can help that by liking the video so that people in, I don't know, pick a random place. People in Doha, like so that people in Doha will see this video. Let's make this truly global. And if you know of any salaries that are different from grade to grade, then please do let me know. I know they do vary from bank to bank and also from year to year, so please let me know. Or if you want to tell me how much you earn, go for it, tell me. But yeah, please drop me a message in the comments. Thank you. Don't go anywhere just yet. I have a few things I'd like to say uh, before you depart. Um, so I've been posting community posts a lot more on YouTube and you guys seem to really like the polls that I do where I say, for example, uh, what do you think an entry level investment banking salary is? I then put options and you guys have to say what you think that salary is well i'm going to keep doing this because i think you, you guys are engaging really well and i want to say at this point it's got 454 votes 28 percent of people got it right um obviously it depends on the bank but i find this really interesting so i'm going to keep going um i need to think of more questions to ask you guys though but anyway you might be able to see a suitcase right there um that pink thing that is because one of us uh me or nicole uh we're going away somewhere and uh, it's quite far away from here. Have a guess who you think's going away. If you get to this point, I might say this at the end of every video. If you get to this point, let me know in the comments. Anyway, I need some fresh air. The last thing I do want to say is I know I downplay uh, what I've done in my career in finance and all that kind of stuff, but if you are thinking about going into finance, go for it. If it's not for you, you'll find out if it is for you wonderful you'll make a lot of money also if you need help uh, getting in, into finance or any other industry uh, check out my career coaching website i have cvs and cover letters for if you are applying to any jobs reach out to me let me know let's chat let's let's help you get a job all right i'm going now bye bye